I've been following this house for three years on Instagram, but today's the first time I, I actually know how big it is because their clothing has been too humble for us. And she sold it for 1.4 million pounds. No, 1.45 million. Hi, in case you're watching for the first time, my name is Adiat and I have two babies and one husband and we're from Manchester United Kingdom. But anyway, if you know me well, you will know this is not my house. I am, hmm, guys, drum roll. <laughs> anyway, I'm in this mansion. <laughs> I'm in this massive house. Uh, let me not spill the tea already, but to all of you that think we don't have big houses in UK, you can definitely have a big house in UK, but it's all money. So before I start showing you everything, guys, um, I'm just gonna talk you through the house. So this is three floors, three living floor, guys. And then it has two reception rooms, it has five bedroom, it has a study, and then it has a, 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 a walk-in closet. <laughs> what else? A lot of things, guys, a lot, a lot. But keep watching and then you can see everything. So a little story um, about the owner of this house. So her name is Claudine. Uh, we follow each other on Instagram actually for over three years now. And this is the first time I'm meeting her. And I think she's so gracious to let me do this. I asked her and she said, yes. So anything for you guys? And she said, yes. So I'm really excited. She's gonna join us soon. You're going to see, I'm so proud of her guys. I am very, very proud of her because her house is amazing and um, she has been humble about it because on instagram i don't even i'm shocked when i got here because i didn't know it's this big but she has been really humble hmm. i said she's living a fake life <laughs> trying to act normal but she's not normal guys no she's not i'm going to start off by showing you guys their kitchen dining family room uh yeah so this is their kitchen and this is my favorite thing in here. I love the splashback and I love the worktop. I just love it. The color, everything is it's giving what it should give. So yeah, this is their kitchen. And guys, they have a double oven. How amazing is that? <laughs> I think this is amazing. I love the kitchen space. And they also have um, a wine cooler over here, which I'm going to show you. And over here, I'm not going to open their fridge, but they have a, um, this is a fridge freezer and this is like a, a mini pantry sort of for all their kettle toaster and some other stuff. I think that's really cool. Imagine having, <laughs> but anyway, so um, cabinet, um, this would be their extractor, I guess. Yeah. And yeah guys i love the color black matte amazing really beautiful guys so guys um as previously mentioned this is the wine cooler i think this one of these is amazing guys it's really good and um this is their bin over here and this is a um, for their um cleaning products and over here is their dishwasher no this this house i just i love everything here because um I, I really love it. I love the style. I love everything. It's big. It's spacious. It's amazing. And then they have this over here. I really like this. <laughs> this is good. They have some family pictures and they have um, the books and the plants. And I love everything it's giving. I, I really do. I really do. Apparently, I'm not going to open this door, but this leads to the basement. They have a basement as well, guys. So this leads to a basement and over here is the uh, it's a pantry look at that a pantry and over here is the uh, the uh, utility room i think that's that's brilliant you know <laughs> that's really brilliant guys and i love our style it's it's different from mine of course because you know me i love glam decor i love the gold the glam the style and then our own style is um i need to confirm what this kind of style is called okay so now guys now we're moving to the dining area slash the family room so uh, this is a dining um space over here and of course they have um, a kitchen island as well oh, of course this is the kitchen island so what i mean is they have some 
oh i need to show you the other side of this bit because i love what's going on right guys this is what i was just talking about you see all the panels i love the whole idea of the splat panels i love what um it's given and then um, their stool everything is um it's different to my style but it's 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 amazing it's beautiful i love it i i really do and just just from this view here look, look at what the kitchen looks like guys oh yeah guys look at this i just i love the black window i love the whole dark and um, color going on here just look at this very nice but i'm gonna show you a full view so you can see very well but this is their uh, living family room um i love the uh, i love the idea that it's an uh, open plan it's really nice the color you can see orange going on and the wood and all i love our design i love our style i do i really do i'm guessing okay what that's a light i think no it is a light but i don't want to break it <laughs> yeah but look at the um the door as well everything is it's it's given what it should give i love our design i love our style guys this is it's it's incredible it is <laughs> it's it's really nice i love the light as well <laughs> i love everything in here i wish, i want to move in i really want to yeah i also love the idea of um this glass door going into the hallway and the whole black like it's something else in here and i, I can't get over it i love that there's a bit of everything there's a bit of gold black rusted you know everything is going on in here and i love that about this and oh, they have on the floor heating guys my floor my legs are warm <laughs> i'm acting like a child isn't it <laughs> that's how excited i am i'm really excited to be here and um, it's just it's it's and the rock guys um like i said um there's um a lot of um colors going on i love the gold i love the orange you know our design oh we're gonna speak to her soon so she can tell us uh, where she got her inspiration from or what kind of style it is that she's really into we're gonna talk to her in a few minutes but yeah so this is a, a nice family home high function and she has decorated it to suit herself and her family's needs which 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 is great and, and amazing really to be honest i love it i absolutely love it so guys hi <laughs> so this is their hallway and i think this is my favorite spot in our house because i have never me <laughs> i've never seen a um, hallway this big before <laughs> i love their whole sunglasses thing <laughs> i think that's really cute and then she has this um mirror here that's nice and then she's got this bench over here i think that's really cute and then the door and they actually still have a porch outside actually yeah they have a porch out there and then i love this and this is the bathroom um no not the bathroom the toilet the visitor's toilet and i think this is nice i love the whole picture going on here it's really nice the pictures and i love the gold feature and it's nice simple but look at the light guys that is really nice and uh, i love everything here the windows um, are also stained glass which is um, the original feature and i love the fact that uh, it's the same over here as well with the door i think that's um very well taught very well put together and yeah so that's the uh, let me turn on the light so you can see again and i love the whole gold going on she's very intentional about her colors and she has picked everything really well that is really nice and oh they also have this over here this is amazing everybody needs this it's for their jacket for their coat and for their shoes as well i think that's great that is really great and very functional as well and very realistic as well and just look at the size of this hallway like i love the light fixture as well and then they have this over here uh, sitting on top of this cabinet that is really nice that is really nice that is amazing guys i love the idea of this bench you know you can sit down put on your shoes 
gorgeous amazing really amazing <laughs> and oh guys have i over here they have this over here as well this is beautiful and um, the whole picture and then um, the the i'm really fascinated um the the console table i find it really fascinating it's different i've never seen anything like this before so that is great and i love i just love the whole thing going on with the black and our family pictures and everything which i'm not going to show for privacy and now we're going inside apparently this is their children's playroom playroom slash um front room but it's mostly used as their uh, playroom because right so the kids have their there's a tv in here i love the fire here and i love the gold mirror there i love the tv i love the tv cabinet and yeah that's from ikea i recognize that from ikea and oh the lights hmm, that's interesting i like that that is really nice that's similar to what i have in my house for my son that is really nice i think that's cool and i love the rug here as well i love the coffee table the rug everything just everything feels perfect and the sofa guys look at the color of the sofa pink lilac i'm not sure but it's in the same family as a pink lilac and all the back and all the things they have at the back very well thought of very well put together amazing and of course for their music lesson oh this is a beautiful home guys and i want to show you guys something here as well so this is for the kids toys and this is from ikea yeah and i think this is a, a smart uh, storage solution if you have kids. okay i won't touch that <laughs> yeah if you have kids you can store away all their um toys and everything that's 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 really nice guys i i love the idea and i also want to show you guys this <laughs> that's nice and the color everything is just um everything blends in together and the kids also have this here so this is one intentional family um intentional mom and dad that um uh, that have just uh, created a beautiful home for their children and shortly you guys are going to talk to Claudine because I want her to explain her style herself I want her to be uh, to tell us uh, where she got her inspiration um, her choice of, uh, choice of style how she came about and yeah a few bits and bobs like that so this is our youngest daughter's room and I really love the design in here guys I love the pink oh so there's pink there's um we have the white and black and then we have the gold handle i really love everything like very um well put together like very very intentional about the colors that came in here and the shelf the oh and the light guys and the size of this room <laughs> this is our youngest um, daughter's room everything is just so amazing and perfect guys some of the furniture, uh, I recognize them from Ikea. Um, this looks like something from Ikea. I'm going to ask her to confirm as well, yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the bed, but I can see a lot of um, Ikea furniture is in here. And guys, look at this. She has a balcony. She has her own balcony. I love the, the bay. I, I'm not sure if I should call it a bay, but the shape and the window and the balcony and then um, of course the child um, doesn't have access to the balcony of course but the size of this room guys it's it's just amazing and i love the pink curtain you know and then the, everything here is just i'm in love guys i am really 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 in love it's amazing it's amazing and guys look at this i love this i think this is a rug that she just hung up i think it's a rug and i really love the shade of the pink in here actually i'm going to ask her about the shade of the pink in here the shade of the pink in here is amazing and the little um book bookshelf and then uh, the style of this radiator everything in here is just perfect i i really love it <laughs> guys wow this is a home <laughs> so guys this is the next room i'm going to show you guys right and this is um our eldest daughter's room she's not a pink fan in fact, she doesn't like pink and she's eight and a half. So, are you ready to see? 
let's see wow the size of this room is amazing it's a big room it's a big room and i love the colors and the feature in here and then <laughs> she's hate but she's not a fan of them pink at all um i like the the dark walls actually um i think that's really nice and the colors and the design i think they're really cool and then we have this in the ceiling um i think this is about the planets i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure yeah i love that i love the 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 idea oh yeah and i actually love this actually and i'm not sure if you remember um my son's room at home adonaya um he has um, a bit of this going on on his wall as well what i did with the stickers so i absolutely love that and i love that wow this is nice so she doesn't like pink and she still has her own uh, stuff over here i think that's really cool you can see she's a lego fan as well she loves lego and this area is dedicated to our legos <laughs> i think that's really cool and i'm guessing she made this on the floor with a stuffed animal i love all the colors in here it's everything is is, is just amazing like i can't get over it <laughs> i actually can't get over this house <laughs> it's amazing you know i've i've um i've been following this house for three years on instagram but uh today's the first time i i i actually know how big it is because their clothing has been too humble for us <laughs> she didn't show us the real the the whole house but this is beautiful and guys look at the light i'm gonna uh, put on the light so you can see very well i think that's nice it's cool i've never seen anything like this before and over here i love the whole yellow going on so this is a wall yeah it's a wallpaper I love that and over here she has a dress up costume gown <laughs> yeah she has everything that's a little corner cute corner for that <laughs> that's nice that's really nice and i love this chest drawer as well they have a lot of family pictures and i'm not gonna show that too much for their own privacy and guys this little girl has a fire <laughs> she <laughs> I'm not jealous. <laughs> okay, I think I'm jealous of a eight-year-old, but look at that! How amazing is that? I think that's really cool, and I love um, the black, and then of course our TV and some books, and I love the whole thing going on here. I love that, and a microphone, of course, <laughs> of course, <laughs> and then this is our wardrobe and oh i love the yellow going on there i really love it because uh, it gave it a, a pop of color and that's really nice and over here is a, a reading desk so she has all the stuff there and a reading desk and we have a bookshelf over here and guys look at this the front of a door is black and the back is yellow that's amazing this is one thoughtful mom like she thought about this very well now nah, she did amazing with this room she thought about it very very well because every color merged together like everything even to the laundry basket there's a yellow cover it's a it's a black one you know it's it's really nice it's amazing it's beautiful it's big it's well-managed space and i absolutely love it so guys the next room we're going into is our son's room now guys when i tell you this room like i think this room um i don't know let's go you see for yourself because i don't want to say something <laughs> and you guys are uh, you're going to think i'm exaggerating but this room is actually one of my favorites and um, it's a son's room and i absolutely love it come on so i love the color going on in here i love the whole green um i think that's why i love it <laughs> i love the green and oh yeah this is definitely from ikea guys because um i recognize this from ikea um yeah i love it and a little boy he could he could you know sit over here chill <laughs> read his own little corner he could do anything and of course another wardrobe and then he has him um, another bookshelf over here and then he has a little i'm gonna show you guys later then he has his own uh, table and desk and he has his own plate pit yeah i think the reason why it's my fave one of my fave is because of the color because i love the green going on 
I am I am blown away guys <laughs> but the top part is white and this is kind of like a I don't know it looks different but I love the dark shade here the shelf is nice with with all of this and I love um, the, the book whoa this is nice Muhammad Ali oh that's amazing and uh, Marcus Rashford I love it and I love this um little play area here as well you know there's a little play area here this is good I love the frames oh this is nice men who change the world oh that's great we have Stephen Hawking Martin Luther King Muhammad Ali Barack Obama Einstein Malcolm X David Bowie Nelson Mandela I love that. <laughs> the size of the kids' room, the size is amazing. Wait till you see the main bedroom, guys. Blown away. So yeah, this is our little man's room. So guys, um, in here is their uh, children's bathroom. So this is on the same floor with their, uh, with their kids' room. So I said it's the children's bathroom. So maybe family bathroom. Actually, it's for the children, yes. <laughs> it's for the children. So, um, over here they have um, shelves so this looks like um, it's the toys and the bath towels and stuff and then over here i'm jealous of this one the bath i wish i could have a bath like that but over here they have um, the bath and the lights i love the lights i really do and of course they have this i think that's amazing that that's really amazing and of course the toilet the toilet is over here and one thing I like that's on the wall is this. I really love this artwork. And guys, they also have a shower in here as well. Yeah, they have a shower. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So guys, yeah, now we're going to go to the top floor, which is where the main bedroom is. The next room is the office, but uh, I'm not going to show you guys. I can't go in uh, right now because um, our husband is um, working. I've seen it. It's a big room with a nice office space and a bed guys his office has a bed so in case he's working and he gets tired he could take a nap isn't that cool so now let's go upstairs <laughs> guys to my left is their bedroom but let's talk about this space first I mean, <laughs> they could work out in like in their room, literally. And there's a window here. And guys, they have a loft as well, a full functioning loft. But we're not going to go in there today. But look at this. And I actually like what they've done with the wall. The slat panels. I think the slat panels, um, it's a good idea. And another thing I want to show you that I actually love, the banisters. I think it's really different with the... Is it love hat? I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but I really love the shape and I think that's really cute. I think that's really cute. But look at this. Walking out and going into your room. That's amazing, isn't it? Now let's go into the room. So when we open the door, when I open the door rather, the first thing we're going to see is the dressing room. So... guys <laughs> this is our dressing room this is our dressing room and uh, i'm not going to show you but do you know the dressing room um uh, is actually walk-in as well i'm going to show a path but not all because you could walk in into here as well this is walk-in it's a walk-in it is a walk-in but well, guys how amazing is this i can behave <laughs> i actually can behave i can't I love the color here. I love the green. I really love the green. I love the green. I love the green. The whole, and I love this as well. For some of the bags and a hat and a, a dressing table. I love that as well. I think that is really nice. That is really nice. And this. It's for our watch, I think. <laughs> so guys, I, I really love this table. I am a dressing table and a jewelry and I just love the table because um, I don't know what this is called, but this is beautiful. And I have 
turned um, the face of the picture down for their privacy. And I love this. I really love this. I really love this. This is nice. Now I'm going to show you the whole room. Oh, they also have um, a, um, like a little footstool in here. I'm going to show you guys everything. Guys, remember I said this is a walk-in one as well. Wait for it. Are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> but look at that. So I'm not going to show everything. Um, but can you see that, guys? And it goes straight in. Like straight in. And it's like that for the whole space as well. That is amazing. And next, I want to talk to you guys about this. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this. Look at that. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> I think it's nice. I really think it's nice. <laughs> I think it's really nice. I love it. And another thing I've noticed is... Um, I love how intentional she is about all her colors. I'll give you an example. So when you close the door, the back of the door matches with the decor in here, but the front matches with the banister and everything going on. So the front is black and the back is uh, uh, oak wood color. I think that's really nice because, and she decorated her home as well. And she's also on Instagram. I'm going to tag her. So in case you guys want to see more of her and her ideas and, and our style you can follow her up on instagram now the next place i'm going to show you is our home bathroom guys it's an ensuite of course look at that look at the double mirror the double basin <laughs> i think that's cute i would want a double basin as well that is really nice and the shower i love the wood inside of it the next place is their main bedroom it's very minimal that is a huge bed, by the way. <laughs> and oh, so much space. I love the simplicity. Oh, I love this. This is nice. The hat work. It's nice. And she has this on the wall. I think that's really nice. It's the simplicity in this room I love most. Um, very well put together. Very well thought of. The color. I love this little reading area as well. A bookshelf there for her. And over here... Oh, this is nice. And over here. Oh, I love this. But wow, this the size of this room. Oh, let me, let me, um, what's the word? Manifesting this. Speaking it into existence. <laughs> My next room is going to be this, this massive with a walk-in closet. Amen. Somebody say amen. <laughs> amen. So yeah, guys, uh, this is their room. And now we're going to go back downstairs to film the rest of the house. So, hi guys. Hi. <laughs> it's me, the homeowner. Yeah. <laughs> She's the rich one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, hi guys. So, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Claudine. Uh, okay. this, is, this is my house. My Instagram's at Claude's Gaff. Please follow. Um, and yeah, I'll just do a house tour for you guys with... Uh, with guys, me <laughs> go follow her and say thank you um uh, for her letting me do this because this means a lot and i really really appreciate this you're welcome you're welcome so chloe can you tell us um your style because um i've tried to explain it but i just can't but the thing is i really love your style because you have a bit of everything i can see orange i can see gold black and rustic can you so the style of the house isn't necessarily my style. So I would say that my children's rooms mm. are probably more reflective of my actual true style. Okay. Um, I'm quite bright. Uh, I like um, color. I like um, fun things. I like neon. I like silly pictures and things like that. But um, Dave, my husband and I uh, have done up our houses all the time quite intentionally for investment okay. and to sell okay. so we've always been looking to present the house in a way that someone else would want to move into it and they wouldn't uh, walk around the house and think i need to change those things so my style for this house has been really pitched around making it somewhere that someone else would want to live so we have added character we have added like distinct things and mm -hmm. cool furnishings maybe like, you know, quite maximalist light fittings and things like that. But the actual fundamentals of the house um, are very kind of neutral. Mm. So you might have noticed that this paint color mm. is all over the house and that's the binding yeah. color mm -hmm. of the house. Mm -hmm. So this paint is in all but 
one of the bedrooms, Cece's room. Okay. Um, so hers is obviously completely pink because mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. I went mad in there because my, <laughs> my other child, my other daughter didn't like pink. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this kind of, it's just an off-white, it's like a grige, so it's in between um, grey and beige, has been like the binding factor for the house. So when you walk through, okay. it gives it like a flow, so mm-hmm. you're always seeing it constantly on, on a wall mm-hmm. or on a ceiling or on a feature wall or the entire, or the entire room. And it just gives like a neutral palette mm. for the whole house. I do like fun things. I do like, you know, we've got the monk's bench in here. That's quite cool. Um, and then it, we've got lots of like wooden accents. So it warms it up mm. because that color, the gray, the grige could be quite um, cool and, and, and maybe a little bit like dull looking. So if you add like wooden textures and bits of gold, it kind of warms it up. But again, I feel like the way that we've decorated the house, most people could probably just move their stuff in True. and not have to change much, bar the children's bedrooms, which was just the kind of creative outlet for me <laughs> in there. And I let them them choose a bit as well. But yeah, that's kind of been our, our main goal with doing all of our houses um, okay. is to kind of make it a place that someone else would want to pay us a lot of money mm. to buy. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I guess, yeah, my style is a little bit this, like my husband um, really doesn't like stuff out. So that's why I've gone for quite a dense kind of kitchen okay. units look instead of shelves. Everything. Yeah, he really, really likes things away. Wow. Whereas I'm probably a little bit more of a, oh, let's have some cups out. Let's mm, have a little cup yeah, thing. Let's have okay. our little tea caddy. So he doesn't like that. Wow. So like even down to the fact we don't have a kettle, we have a hot water tap because he just doesn't like mm. seeing things out at all. So he, I think everyone thinks that is all me, but he obviously gets to say, because <laughs> he plays a lot of it. Um, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, I guess, Okay. My style in this house in particular has been dictated by making it somewhere else, some, somewhere someone that else. someone else might want to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing that. And um, um, how long did it take you? How long did it take you to get the house into this state? Because um, I've been following you since you were renovating. Yeah. So we bought the house in the July, and we said we were going to live in it for a year to understand because that's good practice. Mm. to live in the house for a year because you understand where the light comes in you understand which rooms are cold you understand which rooms are warm you understand um you know where you where your where your head's at kind mm. of mm. throughout the seasons okay. but by the end of the november the builders had started so we did not wait a full year we waited four months and then it was finished by june so that's 11 months okay. for the full renovation, renovation work 11 months yeah wow. and then and you were living in here as we well. lived here the whole time oh my God. um and then we we did everything but the kids rooms okay and then i fell pregnant so she th- fell pregnant i fell pregnant as is the case with uh, if you watch any renovation shows <laughs> the woman always falls pregnant and they're like we've got no money we're so stressed we're so tired we're so dirty oh let's have a baby like literally that's what happens just too much red wine um and covid just being bored and covid uh so that expedited us having to do the children's rooms mm. so they were done by the time cc was born which was the following december so probably 18 months altogether, wow. including the outdoors wow. so th- this was originally a six bedroom house it hadn't been touched for about 10 15 years we've changed every window wow. we ripped out all the floors every single wall's been re-skimmed or re relined um all it's been rewired replumbed mm-hmm. Um, we, we spent about 195 to 200,000 pounds on it. How much did you buy the house? 925,000 pounds. So guys, by the time you're going to watch this video, she's going to be out of here with her family to a new house. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Not exchanged yet. <laughs> by the time you're watching this cut video. Cut this if it's not. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut, cut this if it's not. And how much did you sell the house? Uh, 1.45 million. So, so she bought for 900, 925, 95, yeah. spent about 200k to renovate, and she sold it for 1.4 million pounds. 1.4 million pounds, no, 1.45 million, guys. 1.4 million <laughs> again, 1.45 million, 1.45 million. Gosh, I'll just like to say that is. I said over the course of three and a half years we've been here, 
this area is like a protected bubble, which is why it's really good investment area. We've bought three three houses and hopefully we'll have sold three houses by the time you watch this. But it, it is like, we obviously have spent a lot of money on it, mm. but it is a bit of the growth of the um, area and the property market in that time. So it's not all me, but yeah, it was a very wise and savvy investment and we have done a lot of work and people pay the finishes like this mm. like not mm. everyone is a renovator not everyone wants yeah, to do no, this level of work mm -hmm. and that's why we're now going to be hopefully moving to our dream house we've done this four or five times to each time living through the pain putting all the effort in for someone else to enjoy it making sure we sell it before you had getting around to that oh, i'm gonna have to repaint that things mm. are starting to chip starting to look a bit tired we always sell whilst it's at its peak um but yeah I'm really, this is our biggest, our biggest win. So like, I'm yeah. about to brag. I've seen the new house and I've asked her to adopt me. And <laughs> if she can adopt me and my two children and my one husband. Oh yeah, guys, you need to follow her. If you want to see more of our style, um, I know, you know, I'm on the opposite side of her. I'm into the glam, the gold, the, you know, this is the fun thing about interiors. We all have different styles. So in case this is your vibe and you want to see more of her. I'm gonna tag our Instagram. Come on. <laughs> I I'll get a YouTube by now. By then. Yeah, oh, should, yeah, should. you should. I should. <laughs> yeah, actually, guys, by the time you're watching this, I may even I have. Do, I do actually have YouTube, and it is at Claude's Gap, but I've did like one video on it. <laughs> guys, you know what? Actually, by the time you're watching this, the lot would have changed, and I will update you guys. And thank you guys for watching. And oh, thanks and follow. Yeah. <laughs> follow follow us for more and um um we're gonna talk to dave her husband with with dave's permission maybe their new house they could give me the permission to film maybe 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 not so <laughs> well guys thanks for watching and um i really hope you've enjoyed today's video and this is to all of you because um, a lot of people actually have this thing in their head or this notion that uk houses are small no it is all money 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 yeah this house is uh 2800 square feet that's a big house yeah that is a big house so there are big houses in uk we have big houses in uk but it's all money <laughs> so thank you so much girl for uh clothing for letting me be You're welcome this. lovely Thanks thank for you coming. thank you <laughs> all right bye guys and um, guys continue to watch continue to like share and subscribe <laughs>